Welcome back to the Lee Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do your setup for your constant volume pressure temperature lab. Everything here is very, the equipment is very gentle with using Pasco, so you just have to be very careful about the expensive equipment. You first, you'll need a wiring a tubing be connecting you to your flask and your pressure sensor. Here we have a thermometer, temp a temperature sensor, and here is we have a, a general connectivity that connects all your sensors here, including pressure and temperature, and as well as the USB link that connects all of this sensor, all of your data to a laptop. Last but not least, but you have a 100 volumetric flask. So how to get everything set up for your sensors? The pressure sensor is very gentle and very uh, delicate, so you have to be very gentle with the equipment. Notice that the mouth will fit a certain way, so don't try to force anything. But ev if everything should fit, then you give a gentle little push in and a little turn, in which your equipment, you'll hear a little click that tells you that it's ready to go. Here at the other side, you can attach your pressure sensor. And once you have this in, then you're ready to go for the next step, which is connecting this to your laptop or your computer. Hopefully you have Pasco Capstone set up already. So after you put, push it in, then you want to go to uh, graphs and digits, double check that your sensor is connected by looking at the bottom. It just says advanced chemistry sensor or something of the like. Here, set up your axes. Here, I put it on temperature on one side, and you're going to need to add another axis at the top, which is called add the y axis graph. So on the side there, you click on the side, which then goes and uh, you can go click on pressure so you can monitor the pressure and sensor once you collect the data. Here, you can set up the top as temperature, the other side is pressure. That's where you can collect the data. Okay, so you need the setup so you can monitor your progress. You can uh, click record to get the data, and you can click delete run so that you can restart and collect another set of data at the, uh, on the side. So here's your basic setup. Now, how to collect the data? You have the 100 volumetric flask, which you screw in very carefully on your ring stand and your clamp. So after uh, you do so, I would actually recommend starting your lab at around about at the 50 degree range, the water bath. So making sure you're at a constant temperature. And the reason why is that as the air starts to heat up, some of it, some of the gas will expand and uh, thereby you'll lose some of uh, the back gas molecules, which means when you have to take this gas and uh, raise it up to 100 degrees, then you risk you'll you're only going to uh, you're you're going to decrease the risk of you maybe blowing off the top of your uh, top top of your rubber stopper off or maybe even damaging the sensor. So I would say start at the mid range and get the gas to kind of warm up a bit before you put that rubber stopper in. So what I've did here is just to show the setup. But I would actually put the flask over a water, uh, slightly warmer bath and just cap, then put in the rubber stopper afterwards around 50 degrees Celsius bath. Here is the temperature sensor I've kind of put onto the side of the ring clamp so that all of this can be raised down into, uh, can be lowered into the water bath to collect all your data. Here I'm showing the wiring, the tubing. So you got to be very careful that that does not touch the hot plate. Try to take the put the wire behind the ring clamp stand so that when you lower the flask and everything else, it's not interfering and not touching the hot plate, which will dam the, damage the cords and the tubing, of course. So here is, uh, you want to be very careful as you're pushing it forward because everything's all very hot. Hopefully you're wearing your safety goggles and making sure that everything is over and above the side of the beaker before you raise everything down. Use another hand to secure the wiring. Uh, make sure you start collecting data, so press the record button on your computer screen or get a friend to help you, and then you can slowly lower it down. And I would try to submerge the flask as much as you can into the water bath before uh, you screw it back on. And once you have a screwed it is screwed on, then on the side where you see the temperature and the pressure over there, Wait till you on the graph, you see that all the readings have leveled off because the gas needs time to warm up and it takes time for it to adjust to the temperature as well. And once all the temperature and the pressure graphs have leveled off or is stable, then you can take your reading. But please be careful. You do want to make sure all your beakers or water baths are maintained at constant temperature 
for you to take that data. Otherwise, your data will be slightly off. If you manage a finishes lab, you should have very nice looking data for you to work with and potentially extrapolating to see if you get to absolute zero. Sorry, this was a fast video, but thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on the Lead Channel. Bye now.